Hello everyone. This is Lin and welcome to my practice. Today I would like to have a talk. And the talk is a combination of many requests that I uh, have received uh, for the last uh, several months. People want to know how to motivate themselves so they can deepen their Qigong practice and how they can let go of stress, anxiety and fear. People also would like to know, especially for people just gone through surgery, what is my suggestion for them so they can heal faster and continue to deepen their practice. And thank you everyone who have sent me those uh, requests. Qigong practice is something that people really enjoy to do, but many people out there have a hard time to motivate to practice every day. It's good that we can exchange energy with the tree, the bird, the flowers. But we also need to cultivate that energy ourselves. And because of that, we need to make a commitment to practice every day. Normally, it takes about half an hour for the energy to flow in the body from top to bottom and from back to the front and then front to the back. So the body needs to circulate in an oval shape and it takes about half an hour to do that. So it's good that you can minimum your practice half an hour a day or longer. However, as a new practitioner, that might be too long for you. So my suggestion is start with 10 minutes. Start with 10 minutes first. So your body can get used to the flow of the energy. So your body can enjoy the gentleness and how good your body feel when you move your hand and connect to the ones and then eventually you can go for more you can whoever that you learn qigong with i believe that all qigong master are good on schools are good. So if you are happy with them, continue to do their practice. But if you don't really uh, learn from any Qigong master yet, I highly recommend Spring Forest Qigong. Spring Forest Qigong is the most simple Qigong practice. But it heal very deep and it has helped thousands and thousands my master master Chun Yilin have trained several hundred thousand students so I highly recommend that you can check that out you can watch my video on YouTube first or you can just go to www.springforestchigong and check out the website, check out the practice, and then get a DVD and practice for yourself. There are two different kinds of uh, exercise for the level one, and that is the level one fundamental practice. And then we also have the five element healing movement 
with spring forest qigong. They are both good. You can do any, any of them. So in spring forest qigong, there are two main movements. The first one is the moving of yin and yang. This is the main fundamental movement. And the second one is the breathing of the universe. If you don't want to do a lot of movement, just do that too. That's plenty. But if you feel like you want to learn all of the movement, and then you just watch the whole video and do every piece of that, that will be fine. Now, when you set your schedule at home every day, at the same time, eventually your body will get to the routine and your body will get used to the movement and you will have no problem and then you just keep doing it. You know, just like in the morning you get up, you need to brush your teeth or you need to have breakfast. The body knows the routine and at that time it wants to do it. Yeah. So you will get used to it and you will do it. When we do the uh, practice, I know especially on my video, on my YouTube video, before we start the practice, I always invite my friends, family, clients, the community. I say visualize everybody is in the circle practicing Qigong with us. So you know that you are not alone. You are in the circle with many people practicing together. So the energy is very powerful and it totally vibrates out. You receive more healing energy than if you just practicing with yourself. So if you practicing with a DVD at home, you can do the same thing. You are inviting, visualize your family is there, your friends, your clients, your co-workers are there practicing with you. And the energy will be as powerful as you practicing with us. Now, I would like to talk about stress, anxiety, and fear. Qigong is very good to release in stress, to release in anxiety and fear. You don't need to know why you have stress, why you have anxiety or fear. The minute you start to do the movement, right away, you feel better. And the more you do it, you make it a routine, you do it every day, you just get better, better, and better every day. Every day. Yeah. My advice for you is when you do the practice, go deep in meditation. Because Qigong active exercise is a movement meditation. So go deep. When you listen to my guidance, I add the guided meditation in the video because many of my students, they say they have a hard time without that, their mind wandering around. So that's why I add that part in. And even I say visualize uh, that uh, you feel happy or whatever. Trust me, you don't even need to visualize because the, the minute your body hear what I say, it responds right away. It responds right away. And as you move your hand, you just feel that your body calm down. Okay? Um, so that is about the practice. And people might say, what happens if when you don't practice and you have stress, anxiety, and fear? Where they come from and how to get rid of them? You know, 
all of that is come from your thought. It's come from your thought. So just say if you are at work and your boss asks you to do things or it's like so much work for you, right away you have stress. The Qigong practice have the ability to help you to be crowded. When you are crowded, when you connect with your breath, when you connect with the universe, the stress don't go high. So if you know of a Qigong practitioner or a meditator, that stress level is a lot less than the people without practice. And the same thing applies to anxiety and fear. Yeah, because when you do the movement, you are cultivating the good energy. In our body, we have good energy and we also have bad energy. But the truth is, energy is energy. There is no good energy and also there is no bad energy. So if you think of stress, you think of anxiety or fear, and you believe that is the best energy, that is because that is what your mind believes. As a good practitioner, we just keep practicing and we cultivate the good chi. We become very crowded and we can handle the stress, the anxiety very well. Trust me. Just practice. Give yourself 100 days every day practicing and experience the transformation. It's very, very simple. Yeah. But if you feel like, wow, 100 days is such a long time. Trust me, if that's the case, and if you are at work and suddenly the stress level comes so much, you can just turn off your monitor and stand up and just start to do the bouncing. Just do the bouncing and raise your arms up. Do it for three minutes, five minutes. Or just connect to your breath. You will feel the stress coming down. You will feel the anxiety coming down. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. And you can see, check my YouTube channel. You can see some of the practice. It only takes five minutes to clear all of them. And that is the beauty of practicing Qigong. So when you practice Qigong, I like you to tune inward, tune inward, go deep in meditation, connect to the oneness and feel how good your body feels. Don't think of something else because if you just listen to my voice and let my voice guide you, trust me, I guarantee you, you will achieve very high. Okay? Now, people that just have surgery and they ask me what they need to do. This answer is for them and also for those of us that don't have a surgery. This is something I suggest we all need to do. And that is practicing the small universe meditation. Spring for Red Qigong, the small universe meditation. That is a very high level of guided meditation. That is the Tao breathing technique. When you breathe, Master Lin will guide you and you will breathe in to certain point in the body with your in-breath and your out-breath and eventually you'll be able to open up the blockages and the 
energy will flow freely. It will help you to heal faster and faster. Yeah. So, practicing the small universe guided meditation is highly recommend. So, what you can do is you can uh, do the active exercise first and then after that, sit down and do the guided meditation. For those of us that just have a surgery, you cannot get up or you cannot move your hand and then just do the guided meditation. Supposedly, if you just have a surgery on your wrist, my suggestion for you is ask, talk to your doctor, to your surgeon, and see and ask them when you can gently massage the surgery area. Ask them when can you start to do that. And he may ask you, what is that for? Tell them that I say because you want to release in the scar tissue. Yeah, we need to release in the scar tissue so they don't grow. You know, and he will tell you. And you just gently massage the area slightly. You know, or just say somebody have a knee a surgery, maybe thirty day or so. The doctor will say yes, you can start to gently massage the area. So I feel that that is a must do. That is very important and I will do a video soon to talk about scar tissue, why we need to release, you know, and it will come up very very soon now. Yeah. So that is something I like to focus on. I like you to focus on eating healthy. I don't know enough about the traditional Chinese nutrition to guide you. But I do believe that eat a lot of vegetable and fruit. Eat a lot of organic vegetable and fruit. It's good for you. People might say take a lot of vitamin, but as you might know, the vitamin is not a FDA approved. So you just do it to feel good, you know, but the FDA is not approved. Fruit and vegetable have all of the nutrient, nutrition you need in there. And if they are organic, they are very, very good for you. Yeah. And another thing that will help you is, and again, with, you know, a lot of people after surgery, after the chemotherapy or something like that, they feel very depressed. They feel very, very depressed. So, it would be nice if you have a friend that you can connect to. Someone that you care so much can help you. Talk to that person asking for support. When you are getting better and you can get up, and go outside, connect with nature. Yeah, stay in the backyard. Now it is spring, so enjoy the blooming flowers. Take a walk in the park or in your neighborhood and feel how good your body feels. Connect to nature, connect to the sun, connect to the sun energy. If you live close to the beach, go to the beach or enjoy the mountain. That is very good for you. Yeah. So, digitally practice Qigong every day. Do the small universe meditation. Eating healthy. If you have some negative emotion come up, start to do one or two movements or just do a 10 minute practice. It will calm down your anxiety. So these are very, very simple 
anybody can do it. And I hope to hear from you soon and let me know how is your practice, okay? Until the next time, happy healing and I wish you the best. Make a commitment to practice 100 days and go from there. Thank you so much and I'm looking forward to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.